Hey guys, it's Let Your Light Shine, and for some reason I'm showing an interest in streets, old streets, and why they realigned the streets. And today's street of the day is Chapman Avenue. And I saw old Chapman Road, and then of course the new Chapman Avenue, and I'm in the city of Orange, and so I'm just kind of curious at why and when and what they did. So enjoy. <music> Okay, so I'm here and I'm looking down. I had permission from the person that lives here that I can be in their backyard looking down at this view. And this is Old Chapman Road right here. And the street right past it is actual new Chapman Avenue. But I had um, an old friend, um, Geocacher, he's He's passed away, but he did a geocache right here, and so he had a little history since he lived here all his life. That was kind of cool. I wish I could have asked him more about this, but it says in 1949, it snowed in Orange County. So that's pretty cool, and there's a picture of it, so I'm going to show you all that. And uh, he says here that everything has changed, but back when he was there living in that area it was a bunch of orange groves and an occasional chicken ranch so yeah you can see that Chapman Avenue is now right here where they cut into this hill but there's an other section of old Chapman Avenue down here I don't know if I can capture it it's kind of like it looks like a hiking trail and then it turns into an old paved road as well and it just dead ends or into another street but I did capture some aerial views from Google Maps, so I'll show you that. So this is what it looks like today. So back when my friend Floyd lived out here, it was definitely a lot different for him. This is the same Chapman Avenue that takes you to the Orange Circle, historic Orange Circle. And then if it was a clear day, you would be able to see Catalina from here. Anyway, it's just, just a quick vlog. Thought you guys might enjoy a little history. So I just got some more information about this area. And basically, what I um, the information I received was saying that there was new housing that was built way over in this area. And a college over there. And so the old Chapman Road went right through the land that the college sits now. So they had to realign it for that reason. And then uh, I also came upon some old maps so you can look up and see what it looked like in different years. And so I'm going to call that up and show them to you. Okay, so I'm on the historicaerials.com map site. This is a really cool website. I didn't even know about this until today. And in 1946, this is the old Chapman Road. So this is that old road that I was showing you, but it was the actual road back then. And then here is how it curves around a hill. So now let's go to what it looks like today. All right, now I'm going to click to 2012 because that's the most recent. And look how much difference. Wow. So now it shows... The old road right here, that's where uh, I was looking. I was right on this hill right here. I was right, where's my cursor? Right here, looking down at this, which used to be the old Chapman Road. And then, gosh, I need to go back because I can't even figure out where that curve is again. Okay, there's the curve. So that was the old Chapman Road as well, and then look how much it's changed. 
Wow. So now Chapman just goes straight through and doesn't do any curves. I don't know if this is boring or not, but I found street realignments interesting lately. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that fun stuff and share. Thanks.